long ago, the British Columbia was connected to Antarctica and Australia. When they split, North America meandered north. Our coast mirrored the Asian coast, islands and shallow seas. Continents move at the speed a fingernail grows. Molten liquid surrounds a solid spinning metal core, creates a magnetic field protecting life from the sun. This heat propels the continent and ocean plates across the earth. Land gathered into a supercontinent called Pangaea. Then the Atlantic Ocean opened. North America split from Europe and Africa, moving west. Two island chains in their shallow ocean floors moved north, merged and collided with the coast, causing the deformed Ominica Belt. More island groups combined for a second collision. Sedimentary rocks split and folded. The weight of the new mountains caused land to flex, leaving a shallow sea. Buried masses of plants would become our oil and gas. Rock and water slid under the continent. Melting crust created a volcanic arc and raised the coast mountains, one of the largest granite forms stretching from North Vancouver to the Yukon. Recent smaller collisions created folds that are the Gulf Islands. When pressure released, the crust stretched and thinned. A massive upwelling of flowing lava left flat interior plateaus. The coast mountains completely eroded, but renewed pressure and heat lifted them once again. Even today, our North Shore mountains rise slightly every year. GPS measurements show North America is turning counterclockwise. The Pacific Plate is moving north. An ongoing collision is causing BC Alaska mountains to rise five centimeters per year. Our entire provincial landscape is shaped by glaciers, slow moving rivers of ice that act like large bulldozers. They rounded off mountain peaks converted V-shaped valleys into U-shaped, with lower sea levels carved out the long fjords on our coast. Just 16,000 years ago, glaciers towered two kilometers over British Columbia. One lobe enlarged the Georgia Strait and Puget Sound. In the Okanagan and Thompson Valleys, melting blocks of ice left great silt cliff benches of sediment that now support our wine and fruit industries. The Fraser River originally flowed north, but changed directions to the Pacific. The rugged transition area is not yet eroded, thus not navigable. The increased sediment from the river laid down the land that makes Metro Vancouver. In time, British Columbia will collide with Asia, and a new supercontinent may form.